What's up, tubers? How y'all doing, man? Don't make a lot of videos, but I'm back with another one. I almost, I almost did it, Grub. Sorry. So hard not to do it, but... I'm back! No. <laughs> um, yeah, so this video is about this controller, man. You know, back... Probably like, I don't know. Early 2000s, whatever there. A while ago. Over 10 years ago. Uh, you know, I used to go around to all the, all the fucking... Excuse me, all the uh, all the shops and dig through the boxes, Funko Lands, and uh, before GameStop bought everything. And uh, you know, the Funkos used to be pretty cool. They were. I mean, they each had their own little flavor. They were definitely different. I got to know a lot of different managers. I mean, I went all over friggin' Jersey. I went to New York, Pensy. And they were, they were, you know, they had a, a big stock of all kinds of retro shit. And they were at the point where they didn't know what to do with it. They were getting rid of it. They were going to start getting rid of it. They were just fucking, they didn't know. They were moving it to different locations. They were boxing it, packing it, throwing it on shelves, trying to price it. Um, it wasn't the same scene it is nowadays where people know about a lot of shit. So, you know, it was pretty cool, man. I f found tons of shit. I mean, I built a, a, a majority of my collection, you know, spending a dollar at a time. And, you know, or digging through the boxes, um, asking what the hell is that behind the, 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 the counter. You know, because they didn't know even what to do with it, where to put it. It was a really weird, you know, it's a, it's a it was a major chain, but... They, I guess they didn't, they lost focus on what the hell they had. But anyway, so I came across this controller. And, you know, hold on a second, I need a bear. Oh, fuck, man. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You know... I gotta get a tripod. I hope I'm still in frame here. Because I'm using a rag and it's sitting on top of a chair and hold the phone. Why don't they make tripods for phones? Like a soft clamp or something. I don't know. Anyway, one of these days, I'm gonna steal my kid's telescope tripod and make something. <sighs> Cheers. Centennial IPA, good fucking beer. Nice and strong the way I like it. And it comes in 12 packs of cans. Salute. Ah. So anyway, came across the controller. I'm like, you know, like, all right. I came across all kinds of stuff, man. And I looked at it, I'm like, well, double take. All right, and I bought it. And it's, I love it. It served me well. It's a great controller. So let me show you the controller. I'm really, I apologize. I can't touch anything without the fucking phone falling over. Excuse me. Well, you probably just saw it as, but anyway. Da, 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 da. There it is. Now, you might be saying, you know, what the fuck? It's a regular Saturn 3D controller. Big fucking deal. There is a big deal. All right? The big deal is because there's a Saturn 3D controller. Follow the wire. Bam. Dreamcast connector. Alright, so I don't know. Maybe somebody out there can explain to me because since I got this thing, I've always looked, or I looked for a while, whatever, excuse me. Never found no info on it. Nobody ever talked about it. It's a Saturn 3D controller with a freaking Dreamcast connector on it. Works perfect on Dreamcast. No VMU slot. I love this controller, by the way. I mean, 
you know, never mind the analog stick, which is alright. But the D pad and the buttons, I swear to God, I mean, the SATA controller, the regular one, I'm pretty much sold on it, but I'll tell you what, this D pad just seems to me one of the best D pads for like 2D fighters and shit. It works beautiful. It really does. The controller is a little bit oversized. It doesn't fit in your hand quite as well, or it doesn't fit in your hand at all as well as the, you know, the original small, not the one that was released in America initially, the small Saturn controller, you know, regular 2D controller, whatever. There. But this has got a great fucking D-pad on it, man. It kicks ass. I mean, you can pull off moves like a motherfucker. But anyway, so this is the controller. I mean... I would love if somebody could tell me what the, the story on this is. Now, let me show you something interesting. And I bet nobody ever noticed this, okay? If you look at this controller here, it's got a little thing here. And boom, the wire disconnects. Whoa! And it's not like it's this one because this fucking phone falls over. Here's a regular Saturn one. It's got the same thing. So basically, I mean, I can use the wire for the Dreamcast wire or the SATA in any of these 3D controllers. I don't know. Sega, who the hell knows what the hell they're doing? They ran out of Dreamcast controllers, so they whipped up a fast wire, and nobody ever heard about it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But that's the mystery controller. And if somebody could give me some info on it, I'd appreciate it, man. Take care, brothers. Uh, got some ideas for more videos. Well, I'll get them or not. I don't know. <laughs> Later, people.